Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from ExudeAutomation.com and welcome to the Kwaipu video series. And in the last video, we were discussing how to write a very very simple Kwaipu code for Selenium and we also saw how to open a browser and fill in some of the data into those controls. So, in this video, we'll be talking about little more code to perform some of the operation in the controls. So for that, I'm going to show you which are the controls that we're going to write the code for. So we just filled in the username and password in the last video. So in this video, we will be filling some more details for the user form page like title, initial, first name, middle name, gender and language known. So these are different controls, edit buttons, option buttons and checkbox. And there is a button as well. So let's quickly write some code for them. I'm going to use the same test method that we used in our last class and I'm going to write name this method name as test fill user form. Let's try to add some code. So the ID for the title is title ID which I already know and for selecting a drop down in our selenium we really don't have a out of the box method but in Kwaipu we actually have a method called select. And this selects an option from the select element, which is great. Again, you can see that it's a DSL. Select is something which it's telling that you're gonna select a value from a drop-down list box or a list box control, which is pretty great. So I'm gonna select the option from the drop-down list box, and I'm gonna tell which option that I'm gonna select, and I'm gonna select Mr. Dot or Miss Dot. So I'm going to say miss dot or maybe Mr. Dot. And then if I hit dot, you can see I get one more combination of a method along with the select method. This time it is from. As you saw in our fill in method, we had a combination of other extension method called with. Whereas in select drop down, we have one more extension method called from. So I'm going to call the from. And here I'm going to give the locator. So I need to tell the locator where I'm going to select the Mr. from. So as I already said, the ID for this control is title ID. So I'm going to select the title, something like this. And you already know how to work with the text box. So I'm going to basically paste some code here and it is initial. And there is a first name and there is a middle name and the initial is going to be KK and the first name is going to be admin and middle name is admin middle all right so let's give a comments for that initial first name middle name and then we have to choose the option button for the gender and this time I'm going to choose the female. So in Selenium how we do is it's pretty hard that we have to choose the exact option from either a uh, XPath or we use a CSS to perform the operation. But here in Kwaipu it is pretty easy as you already said it is again domain specific. So to choose an option button, we don't have to use the click method. Rather, we have a different method for selecting, which is nothing but the option button is choose method. So I'm going to use the choose and you can see choose the radio button to appear within the configure timeout. So I'm going to use this choose method and I'm going to pass the ID or name or whatever it is. So I really don't know what is the identification property of this control. All right, it has a value called a female and it has a name called a capital F female. So let me use this value, maybe small f this time. Don't have to use the name always and see how it's really gonna work. The language known. So the language known is Hindi. Maybe I'm gonna select that checkbox. And this time it has a value as well. So language browser dot and there is a method called check for checkbox. And then I need to click a button which is pretty straightforward. Click save. 
so browser dot click button of save that's it and now the code as you can see is very 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 obvious and it is pretty easy to understand as well no hazel code that's the power of Kwaipu all about I'm gonna save this code so I'm gonna run this test method now it's entering the username and password and it's selecting the options and did you see it's selected the checkbox option buttons the drop down list exactly and the initial first name middle name everything is selected so this is how you really can perform the operation using Kwaipu with a very very simple DSL and in the next video we'll be talking about how to work with the different kinds of features which is available in Kwaipu like working with the pop-up windows and working with dialog box and all those stuff thank you